Welcome to Immigration Insight, where we tackle complex immigration issues with real-world examples and legal insights. I'm Harry, your host, and today we're diving into a thought-provoking topic, denaturalization. What happens if someone, no matter how successful or famous, misrepresents information on their immigration application? Could that lead to losing U.S. citizenship? We'll explore the legal process and consequences using a hypothetical example that may surprise you. So, imagine this scenario. Let's say a high-profile individual, someone in the public eye, like Elon Musk, moved to the U.S. years ago, working and establishing a business here. But let's also imagine there's speculation that he might have worked illegally or even misrepresented information on his immigration forms. Now, while this scenario is hypothetical, it raises important questions. Could misinformation or unlawful activity in the past jeopardize his citizenship, and what legal process would that involve? The process is called denaturalization, and while it's not commonly used, it's a powerful tool the U.S. government can employ in certain cases. Today, we'll break down what this means, the circumstances where it applies, and why it matters for anyone going through the immigration process. Denaturalization is essentially the revocation of a person's U.S. citizenship. It's rare, but it's serious. The government typically only considers denaturalization when there's evidence that someone committed fraud, made intentional misrepresentations, or concealed important information that could have impacted their eligibility for a visa, green card, or naturalization. Let's imagine if this applied to someone high profile, like in our example of Elon Musk. What would that look like? If someone like Musk had hypothetically misrepresented his work status or eligibility in his application, and that misrepresentation was proven in court to be material to his immigration status, he could technically face denaturalization. It would be a high-profile case, and it would likely set a serious precedent, showing that citizenship fraud is taken seriously, no matter the person's status or achievements. Denaturalization is rare. It's usually reserved for cases with serious implications, like individuals involved in war crimes, terrorism, or major immigration fraud. But it sends a powerful message about the importance of transparency and truthfulness in the immigration process. No one is above the law, and the government is committed to enforcing these principles to maintain the integrity of the system. Thanks, Shah. This conversation highlights the importance of honesty in the immigration process and that no matter your status or success, citizenship is a privilege that should be respected. For anyone going through this process, let this be a reminder. Transparency is key. Thanks for joining us on Immigration Insight. Don't forget to follow us for more discussions on immigration law, where we explore real stories and legal insights. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered.